माय नेम इज सिमरन जैन एंड वेलकम और वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आई मेक वीडियोस ऑन स्टडिंग इन यूके प्रोडक्टिविटी लाइफस्टाइल एंड मच मोर सो वन ऑफ यू हैव कमेंटेड डाउन ऑन माय वीडियो दैट आई शुड व्लॉग ऑन व्हाट वेयर आई वर्क बट आई फील मिसरेबली बिकॉज़ व्हेन यू वर्क यू आर नॉट इन द मूड ऑफ लाइक डूइंग अ YouTube वीडियो और एनीथिंग लाइक दैट सो आई जस्ट थॉट दैट आई कांट व्लॉग इट बट I can just sit and chat about my job, and I can give you a few information if you need it. Firstly, I work in an Amazon warehouse, which is in Durham. So there are quite a few Amazon warehouse near Middlesbrough, which is NCL two in Darlington, Durham, Newcastle, and stuff like that. So secondly, how I got into it? So to get into Amazon, you have to apply in on the Amazon's website itself. it does not work from indeed or anywhere else so amazon website is amazon.jobs and just go over there apply and just turn on the notification because amazon jobs just sell out like in minutes so if there is a job application and you have not set a notification on then it would go in minutes and you won't be able to like you won't come to know about it so when you come over here do it first that just apply and turn on the notification because in september intake i i think there will be quite a few openings because of christmas and also there is a new amazon opening up near middlesbrough in september or october so bear in mind that as well next how much do i earn so uh, it depends uh, if you want to work in the night time its pay is quite high it's i guess it's 12.5 pounds per hour but i work in day time because i simply can't do night shifts so my pay is 11 pounds anywhere in uk if you will do night shifts then you will get a much higher pay and but i prefer to do day shifts just because of my health i get 11 pounds per hour i i'll show you a quick calculation of how much do i earn in the end of the video first i want to share pros and cons of amazon pro being that there are many such jobs in uk where they enroll you as a company but they don't end up giving you shifts so this is a very good thing about amazon that if you are enrolled in it you are for sure going to get 20 hours so there is no headache of how much i'm going to earn what shifts whether they will give me shifts or not because you know that you are going to get 20 hours and it is like a fixed contract so you don't have that tension in the back of your head uh first con being it really depends in which department you are going to go so it would decide whether your work is going to be easier or not because it is a warehouse and it really needs some physical energy and physical fitness to perform that it's not the most difficult task and that is one of the pro of amazon that even though it is a warehouse it is not the most difficult warehouse you have to work in you don't have to do a heavy weight lifting work which may affect some women it is a bit of stamina work and i would say a bit of physical fitness as well but it is not related to heavy weight lifting and anything like that unless and until you are enrolled in that department but most of the departments don't deal with weight lifting in amazon and another pro of it is when you are working part time you can convert it to full time when you have holidays and when when you are back to studies you can again convert it to to part time and they are very flexible in that terms the other pro is like you can book your annual hours you can go to holidays paid holidays you can get emergency hours and like so many other benefits Amazon in general this company is providing so many benefits for the people working even in their warehouse which is quite surprising but yeah this benefits are in other company as well but uh, the way it works the management is really good as compared to other companies that i have seen and they make sure that whatever the right of a worker is they get it this is all pros and cons of what i feel amazon has and it is a very inclusive place uh, um, not much racism i have faced over there it's a, like they celebrate few days uh, they celebrate prime day it was a prime week last week I have to work quite a lot but because of the people over there the hr we didn't felt it much it was very enjoyable time over there At, at least i did i don't know about others so yeah it's that's one thing that they are very inclusive and you don't feel really much inferior over there as as compared to other places that i have been to and next 
the most exciting part how much do i earn so firstly if i'm working part time then i earn 11 pounds for 20 hours each week so four weeks 11 pound 20 hours calculates to 880 pounds nextly if i earn a uh, full time that is 40 hours then i after tax i get 360 pounds each week sums up to four week then i go then i get 40 hours for week 11 pounds then i get 1440 i have to see because i don't remember you guys so 1440 pounds of a month next deduction so deduction is um, how do i get that i get there by a cab which you can easily get if you like uh, once you are in the amazon you will find this amazon groups which they have in middlesbrough so different newcastle amazon has different group durham has different group darlington has different group and according to your shift they have group if let's suppose i am from 7 30 to 6 then i have a different group 8 to 6 30 have different group so on and so forth so you just write in the group that you need a space and if somebody has space they will message you and that's how it works and for one day you have to pay six pounds for to and fro so if i'm working part-time if I'm working part time, I pay six pounds for two days for four weeks, which it sums up to 50 pounds for a month. So if I'm working part time, I earn 880 pounds and I give 50 pounds for the cap and I in total get 830 pounds. But if I'm working full time, I earn up to 1440 pounds and I give for the cap 96 pounds because I'm going four days in a week, four days, six pounds into four weeks. So sums up to 96 pounds and I'm rounding it up to 100 and i get 1340 and then so yeah this is my take on where do i work and if you need any more information about amazon i'll be happy to address you and i'll link down my linkedin id below and if you have any further question let um let me know in the comment section below and if you are coming this september also i was planning to have a meet and greet with you guys i don't know if anyone will appear or not but if no one will appear that's fine i'll have a coffee that's okay then uh, enough of blabbering and enough of information i'll see you next time till the time take care bye bye see ya i don't really know what comes next i'm just